Hey everybody, and today's video brings us out to Oaks, Pennsylvania. And the reason why we are in Oaks, Pennsylvania is to once again check out another Target store or check out another, are we really checking out another Target store? We'll just add another Target store because I live in these stores. This is where I pretty much am every single day of the week. I'm inside a Target for one reason or another. Of course, this time I'm back, well, I, was gonna, I, should, I should probably actually grab a cart. I'm not gonna grab a cart yet. I'll, I'll come back for a cart if they have any. One of the reasons why I'm back out here, of course, is to look for more bins. I need more more tubs for, for movies. Some of you guys have comments on that previous video where I talked about the possibility of no longer reselling. And some of you guys had good things to say. Some of you guys had not good things to say. Some of you thought it was a good idea. Some of you thought it was was not such a good I good idea. And I I hear I hear what you're saying. I get both the uh, I get both feelings behind the whole thing of, as to why it's a good idea, why it's not a good idea. It's just for me personally I don't know where I'm gonna store all this stuff. I actually thought maybe something I would do also is maybe just stop carrying large items. So things like board games, puzzles, big play sets, things like that. Maybe that kind of stuff I would just leave behind, like not pick that kind of stuff up. Maybe like stick to small toys that would also fit in those bins. Maybe something like that, I don't know. I'm not entirely sure. Right now though, my main focus is definitely going to be on media, movies mostly, some video games, some CDs as well. The uh, the American flags here, are these discounted? I have no idea. There's a whole bunch of American flags right there. But anyway, so still focusing on movies. That's my idea right now. Again, some of you guys like the idea. Some of you guys don't like the idea. We'll see how it pans out. Right now, I've just been listing nothing. Over the last like two weeks, I've been listing nothing but media. And so far, my sales have not dropped. They've stayed the same. They haven't gone up, they haven't gone down. They've stayed exactly, where are all the bins here? I think they're back here. They've actually stayed exactly the same. So that's a good sign. I'm gonna say that's, that's a good thing that uh, my sales haven't slumped. Here we, I'm so confused. Oh, here we go. Okay, wait, well, here's the, here's the, the regular size ones. They have 9 million of, but do they, oh, 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 oh they've got, they've got a stack of them here. I've actually been out to two, well, you we were at the, the Target that um, we were at together a couple days ago. And then I was actually at a Target yesterday as well, looking for more bins. And they had like four at the other one. This one has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight bins. I don't know if I'm going to buy eight bins today. I kind of want to buy them like as I progressively put things into them. I don't know if I need eight bins. If I'm, only do if I'm only doing movies, do I need eight more bins? Probably not right now. But if I am going to start putting like maybe some toys. I was also thinking plush. Plush are pretty good sailors. I, sail, sail, sailors? Sellers. Plush are pretty... Pl <laughs> plush? It's it's actually late at night right now. It's like... Well, not late at night. It's like 6 o'clock in the... Is it 6 o'clock? Six, oh my... I'm done. It's 6 o'clock in the afternoon right now. I am I am beat. It's been... It's This is how today's been. It's been a very crappy, gloomy day outside. It's been raining. It's, it was actually sleeting earlier. It's like 30 something degrees outside. It's probably gonna start freezing. I think after the weather drops down like another like five degrees, everything outside is gonna start freezing. So it's been, a, it's been a really crappy, gloomy day. I slept in today. I just figured I'm not gonna get up early. I'm not doing it. Today I'm just, I'm sleeping in. It's been a busy last couple of, of days. I'm going down to Florida in a couple of days from now. So I have, I have a really busy week coming up ahead of me. So I'm just, I just took today easy. Went out to see my grandmother, visited my grandmother which was fun, but we were there for like four hours and it was just sort of, you know, hanging around, whatever. So it's been a very, just kind of like chill sort of day, which is fine, but it's making me very sleepy as well. I need some caffeine. That's what I need. Maybe I'll go do some, some tea or something like that. I wake myself up. Anyway, what was I trying to say? I don't know. Plush. Plush are good sellers as well at like conventions and stuff. I sell a lot of plush for some reason. So I was thinking maybe I would do like plush as well because plush would fit in these bins. Again, I could just pop these open, have just plush inside them. People would dig through the plush they want to find. I was thinking about that. So maybe, I don't know, maybe I'll do plush as well. I'm gonna pick up a couple of these, maybe like four more, maybe, maybe maybe four more. If I don't need them all, I can return them. So I'll probably grab a couple more of those bins, put some more movies in them. Like I said, movies have been doing really well for me over the last, um, of, some of you guys also said like, oh, well, I, you know, I tried selling movies and they just don't really sell. For me, movies, maybe it's cause I'm, you know, I had the other channel, said I'm a sickness and I'm known for movies. I'm known as the movie guy on the other channel, my much larger channel than this channel. Maybe that's why movies sell well for me. I don't know, but I've always done pretty well with movies, even though the, the decline in movies is happening, even though um, you know not as many people are, are buying movies and, and whatnot, not buying physical media nowadays. I've still been doing very well with physical media, so I don't know. It's It's been good for me. And knock on 
There's no wood in here. I'm not going cardboard. Cardboard's, I mean, it's, it's all wood, right? It's all paper. It's all trees. It's probably recycled or something. I don't know. Anyway, knock on, knock on cardboard. I've been doing very well with, with movies. Movies have always done pretty well for me. So I'm, I'm doing good with that. Anyway, what I want to look for also is, um, some candy. As weird as that sounds. It's, it's, it's the Valentine's Day season. And candy is quite prevalent right now. And I really want to get some um, Heartbreakers. Gobstoppers makes Heartbreakers. My all-time favorite candy. Candy, And the only time of the year they actually sell them in stores is this time of year. However, with that being said, I'm not seeing any. I haven't seen any of the other Targets I've been to. And I'm not seeing any of this Target either. This was the only place that ever carried those. I think I can get them probably on Amazon or something like that. But the only store, the only physical store that actually carried Heartbreakers is, or should I say, was Target. I don't think Target has them. I was really hoping this Target would have them. I was hoping maybe the other two Targets I went to, for whatever reason, just maybe hadn't put them out yet or hadn't gotten them in. They are, they're already putting out Easter. Easter candy is already showing up. You guys like Cadbury eggs? I, I do not like Cadbury eggs. I Something about the cream. In, ugh. No, I don't th I don't like the cream inside them. It just grosses me out. It's not it's not my thing. What are these? These are like, are these like solid milk chocolate eggs? Oh, they're mini, they're mini eggs. All right. I'm also the biggest fan of um, Reese's Shapes. What, what is your favorite Reese's peanut butter cup? Do you like the standard ones? Do you like the, the big thick ones with like the, the more peanut butter in them? Do you like the ones that are in shape of Christmas trees or eggs or something like that? To me, I prefer just the standard, the standard cup. I think the standard Reese's peanut butter, peanut butter cup has the perfect peanut butter to chocolate ratio or the mini ones. The mini cups also have a perfect peanut butter to chocolate ratio. I'm a big fan of ratios when it comes to my food. I don't like too much of one thing, too much of another thing. I like the good, a good mixture. These are the, we were just eating these, we were just eating these cookies at my grandmother's house a couple of hours ago. Now I know where she got them from. She got them from Target. These are actually pretty good. They were delicious. Anyway, so peanut butter cups. What are your favorite, what are your favorite Reese's peanut butter cups? Me, I just go for the, the standard traditional peanut butter cup. Look at this. There's, there's just, there's just too much peanut butter in there. The, the ratio, the peanut, peanut butter to chocolate ratio is way off. I don't like it. I do not like it. Anyway, I don't see any, any heartbreakers, unfortunately. I don't think they carry gobstopper heartbreakers i'm going to look online i'm going to go on to uh to amazon see if i can find them there because they definitely don't have them here anymore so clearly they're not carrying them here which is which is a shame because out of all the different stores i've been to this is the only store i've ever actually seen them in i've never seen them at a walmart or anything like that in fact i was just at a walmart a couple of days ago and i, I looked through there uh their candy section as well thinking maybe maybe they're going to carry them they don't have them either so if you guys know where i can physically go out to a store and buy gobstopper heartbreakers let me know, leave a comment down below. But um, I'm thinking it's probably just gonna be me ordering them off Amazon. Look at the tiny little pop section they have here. Remember when the pop sections at like every single Target was huge? I don't collect Funko Pops anymore. I used, I used to collect Funko Pops. I got out of that. That was, that, that got out of hand way, way, way too fast. I had too many Funko Pops, had to sell them off. I still have a couple of them, but I sold most of them off. But I remember like the, the collectible like all the NECA figures and stuff. This section was huge at every single Target. Now it's this tiny little section here. I was just at a different Target where the section was maybe twice this size, so it was still kind of big, but it seems like this is the norm now when I come out to a Target. Just these little tiny sections of, of action figures and collectibles and stuff. Look at this cool Donatello. That is awesome. Who makes this? Is this NECA or who does make this? I have no idea. This is um, the Loyal Subjects. I, have, I don't know who that is. This is awesome. What do they have? How much is, how much is this? Let's go find out how much this is. I kind of, I kind of want this. This is really cool. Donatello is my favorite of the TMNTs. My favorite turtle of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Who's your favorite turtle? Let's see what they're, they're asking on the, the Donny. What is, what is all over this screen? That is disgusting. Anyway, Donatello is eighteen forty nine. It's like twenty dollars. This is cool though. That is, yeah, that is an awesome Donatello. I kind of want to get this, and I, I mean, I would probably take him out of his packaging, put him on a shelf somewhere. That is so cool. That's tempting. I did say I want to start picking up more like tchotchkes and collectibles and stuff like that for my my library to display in the library. They have a Raphael. Wow, there, okay, there's Raph. There's Leo. Look at that. And they've got Mike. They got all, they've got them all. They actually have two Michelangelo's. That's cool. These are awesome. Those are really neat figures. I'm definitely digging the Donatello. Anyway, I don't need to pick those up right now. There's a, there's a Michael Myers up there, Jason Voorhees. Those are cool too. I'm digging all these things. I need to start picking some more stuff like that up to, to bring bring some more decor to my uh, to my library, to my collection. I'm looking for a, a clearance section. I don't see a clearance section for uh, 
Oh, I think it's down here actually. The clearance section for um, their electronics area. Sometimes you can find some pretty good deals on movies and stuff and toys and collectibles inside uh, that area as well. So today, looks like a whole bunch of books. I'm seeing, I'm seeing books, I'm seeing some CDs. Not seeing much in the way of movies, unfortunately. Some records down there. I actually just found a really cool 4K, a giant 4K box set for half price the other day at a Target, which was pretty amazing. So you can find some pretty good deals over here sometimes. Not right now, unfortunately. Anyway, all right, so I'm gonna go grab a cart. I'm gonna go get some more bins. Thank you guys for chiming in the other day on the video, telling me what you think, if it was a good idea to stop reselling toys and just stick to media. Some of you, again, some of you guys said yes, some of you guys said no. Both of your reasonings seemed very, they, they made a lot of sense. I agreed with both of the reasons as, as, to do, as to why to do it and why not to do it. What's, wait, what's, the, what's this TMNT thing? I didn't even see this. Looks like it comes with a beanie, a shirt, an action figure, a magnet, and keychain. That's cool. That's NECA right there. All right, guys, so no candy, unfortunately. I don't, I don't need more candy. In fact, after this, I'm probably gonna go get some pizza. I'm starving, I need, I need some food. So probably gonna go get, go get some pizza and a Coke, even though I, I said I wasn't, no, no, I'll grab myself a, I'm gonna get pizza. I'm definitely eating pizza, but I'll grab myself a tea. I'll drink, I'll drink tea. I've been, I've been good. I haven't been drinking Coke. I mean, I, occasionally I'll have a soda, but for the most part, I've been, I've been really good when it comes to soda, but I've been drinking lots and lots and lots of tea. So I'll grab myself a tea. I'll probably grab one from the cooler up front. And then uh, I'm definitely gonna get a soda. So I don't, I don't need candy. I want candy, but I don't need candy. All right, so no candy. Gonna grab some bins. Gonna pass on the toys for right now. But all right, guys, I just wanted to chime in with you guys today. Say hello. This is my day today. It was a very boring, just relaxed, not very exciting day. Like I said, it's gloomy outside. It's rainy, it's disgusting. Didn't really go anywhere today. Just went to visit my grandmother. That was the excitement of the day, visiting visiting relatives, visiting my grandmother. What did you guys do today? Leave a comment down below. Let me know how your day was. Look at the pink ranger here, that's cool. A little Grogu, look at that. I like the actually see the name Grogu on things now. Remember when it used to just be the, chi the child? Now it's, now it's Grogu, I like it. All right, so leave a comment down below. Let me, know what, let me know what you guys did today. Let me know what exciting things you're up to. Me, my day. Not much, getting gloomy, rainy, disgusting. I slept in, look at the shark. That's cool, what does this do? I don't even know what this does. I have no idea. It's, it's sealed shut, I don't know what that is. What, what, seriously, what is this? Is it like a hand? I think, oh, it's like a, you like put other sharks inside it? Weird, I don't know what that is. That's cool though, that's pretty neat. I, I have a friend who collects sharks. I'll have to show that to him. I'll take a picture of it when I come back. Anyway, what I'm trying to say is, what are you guys up to? What did you guys do today? Anything fun, anything exciting? If you did, leave a comment down below. This is my fun, exciting thing of the day. Coming to Target. This is my, this is the highlight of my day. That's a lie. My highlight was seeing my grandmother. I like seeing my grandmother. My grandmother's awesome. She's getting up there in age. Definitely gotta visit her more often because you know, you, you know, I hate to say it, but you never, you never know. You never know. You gotta visit your loved ones, especially your elderly loved ones. Cause someday they might not be around and they won't be around forever. Definitely wanna bring my son out to see my grandmother more so he remembers her. But all right, guys. That's it. So I'm gonna go grab, 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 grab. <sighs> I'm gonna go take a nap. I'm gonna go grab a cart, grab some bins, go get some pizza, and then go home and probably take a nap. All right. So as always, guys, thank you so much for checking out this video. Be sure to hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, check down below for links to Patreon. If you guys do become a patron, I will send you a postcard every single month from the road. Also check down below for links to Spreadshirt, where you can grab yourself retro. Look at, the, look at these. I want. I want these. I wonder if I could fit those. Check down below for a link to Spreadshirt, where you can grab yourself retro rest stop t-shirts, proceeds, both from Spreadshirt and from Patreon. You can help out in gas and Vanabelle and a pumpkin so we can go out and have fun adventures. All right, guys, thanks for watching. So like I said, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button. If you guys do subscribe or you are subscribed, and I will see you in tomorrow's video. All right, thanks for watching. Have a good one. Bye.